What is going on everybody? My name is Dakota. Welcome back to Dakota's Clones. Today we're going to be doing a breakdown interview of John Varvatos Artisan Teal. Alrighty, so I kind of wanted to do this one today because I feel like this is a very slept on summer fragrance. I don't really see or hear a lot of people talking about this one. So I thought this one might be nice to kind of go through and do something with. So as always, I'm going to start off with showing you the atomizer. So just so that way pretty good atomizer it has a it's not like a it's not a very long burst but it's very spread out so pretty pretty decent what I also like to do with some of the stuff is when I started buying colognes lately within the past year or so I started keeping some of the boxes that way I can kind of give like a full presentation what to expect what it's gonna look like everything else like that so we'll go ahead and get into that in just a second all right so as far as box breakdowns goes this one is gonna be about as simple and plain forward as you can get nothing nothing on any of the sides nothing on the back so you're just gonna have the uh, John Doradus logo here. I'm just gonna tell you what it is. Um, this is the this is the 75 ml bottle, so not the big bottle. And then on the bottom here, you're just gonna have the normal breakdown. Um, this one doesn't tell you like any of the hyperallergenics or anything like that. So this, like I said, this is just about as simple as it can be. And you know, for for everybody wondering, the batch code on this one is gonna be N22X11A. So. All right, let's get into the bottle. Right, I'm actually going to start us off holding this one. So if you look right here, it's going to have that XX John Barbados on the top. And then on the bottom right here, it's going to have, you know, batch code, 2.5 ounce, things of that nature. So I'm going to go ahead and get that sit on there and let that get to spinning. While the bottle is spinning and showing itself off, I'm going to go ahead and get to some of the note breakdowns on it. It is going to have top notes of lemon and rosemary this this clone it is very citrusy it's very fresh what i pick up from it is a warm fresh spicy so i'll get into more of that later the middle notes on this one are going to be water lily and pink pepper and the base notes are going to dry down to sea salt musk and driftwood this stays very green very fresh very aquatic all right, I got y'all flipped back around, so we can continue talking about the John Varvatos XX Artisan Teal. So this clone, like I said, the reason I talked about it today, I kind of feel like it's a little bit slept on. It's a 2022 release, so it's only been out about a year, and it is very much a summer fragrance. So this thing is very clean, very fresh, has some aquatic notes to it, it's very aromatic, it has, a, has a little bit of woodiness to it, not a lot, but a little, kind of like a powdery feel. But the, the biggest thing that you're gonna get from this one is some musk, a lot of citrus, and just a very good, clean feel, which is why this works so well in summer. Um, you know, with, with all these hot days, especially where I'm from, I'm from, you know, Oklahoma, so it's it's been 110 here all week, so it's just been blistering hot. Yeah, so fragrances like these, these are what hold you through through the summer. So I'm going to get into price and availability on some of this real quick. Price-wise, retail for this 75 ml bottle is going to run you about $80. For the 125 ml bottle, it's going to run you between the 95 to 105 range. But I would suggest picking this up at a discounters because most discounters are going to offer this for a, a lot off, actually. I picked mine up several months ago. I think it was Fragrance Net was doing a sale. And I want to say I only paid like 38 bucks for this. But off sale on a normal, like I guess on a normal day, this 75 ml bottle will run you about $50. The 125 will run you about 70. So, you know, that, that tends to be how it goes. Performance wise, performance on this. Um, this is an Eau de Toilette. So it's not gonna have that all day, just insane lasting power. But being that it's a fresh summer fragrance, you don't really want it to, as I've mentioned in some of my past videos. What I like to do with these specifically is I like to layer the cologne on top of itself. You get a lot more of the notes, you get a lot more of those breakdowns. You just, to me, you, you get a little bit better lasting power. It just seems like you get all of the notes blended together. This one has like a lemon rosemary with like a water lily. You tend to hold all of those notes whenever it finally dries down which I don't under, really understand how it works the projection on this one is gonna be about two feet so it's not you know it's not gonna be a monster performer and the lasting power on this one's okay it'll last somewhere in the three to five hour range that's with probably four to five sprays on initial wearing when I wear this one and I'm gonna go ahead and say it again. I like to do three to four sprays and then a 
couple hours later, I'll do it with a freshen up and normally I'll put, you know, one behind the ear, one on the wrist, maybe if it's, you know, one like this one, I may do each wrist actually. Doing that, you'll probably get seven to nine hours out of it. The one thing I will say though, is I've seen a lot of comparisons, this being compared to the Y line, specifically the Y EDT. It does get a compare to that. I can see the similarities. I can see where they may have been inspired off each other a little bit. And if you are some, and it's, it's not a clone by any stretch, it's just similar. And if you love the Y line, you're probably gonna love this one. Or if you've never tried either, this one's cheaper. You know, might go, might go that route anyway. All right, so we're about the 30 minute mark on the dry down now, and some of the bass notes are really starting to come through and starting to really pick up in game steam to me. It's almost turned a little bit sweet and salty. The, the long-term dry down smells very good. It's almost like a sweet caramel almost, and I, I, that I'm aware of, there's no, there's no hint of caramel in this anywhere, but it's, that's just the best way I can put it. Some of that sweetness to me kind of reminds me of caramel. So to me, it's like a, it's like a fresh, salty caramel. I don't know, it's, it, that, that was kind of wild. I think that is gonna wrap up the review on this one. So just so everybody sees that one more time, this is the John Varvedos XX Artisan Teal. Solid summer fragrance. It's gonna get you a couple compliments, but a lot of the fresher, greener, more aquatic ones, those, those are the ones that's gonna pull compliments the most anyway. So this one, if, if a compliment factor is what you're looking for, this one will get you compliments. It's just not gonna get you compliments all day because it's not gonna last all day. If you pick this up for $38, you're not gonna be disappointed at all. Me personally, I would suggest not paying retail for this just because, you know, 80 bucks for this is a little bit steep for what you get. So yeah, that that is gonna be my final thought. That's gonna be my wrap up right there. So with that being said, Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you everyone who subscribed. Thanks, thank you for everyone on the feedback. I, I genuinely do appreciate that. I'm still new to this. I'm still trying to figure all, I'm still trying to figure out exactly how everything wants to go, how I want to do everything. So as always, thank you everybody for watching. We'll see you next time.